The great houses would feed me to the worm. Hey everyone, welcome to Digital Charcuterie. Thanks for stopping by. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. We're looking to hit 4,000 subscribers. We're talking Dune today. Looking forward to Dune Prophecy. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Are you excited for the early chapters of the Dune Saga? I love the trailer that they dropped a little, a few weeks ago. Looks fantastic. The cinematography looks incredible. And I gotta say, Mark Strong in anything is exceptional. And I'm loving what we're getting from him in this, where he plays Emperor Javico Corino, a ruler who inherits a legacy of powerful wartime emperors and is now responsible for maintaining the Imperium's stability. As political tensions rise, he faces pressures from within his empire, particularly from powerful factions like the Bene Gesserit and the ambitious Harkonnen sisters, Valia and Tula. These rival influences seek to advance their own interests, challenging the Emperor's hold over the galaxy. Beyond his public duties, Javico's personal life adds further depth to his character. His illegitimate son, Constantine, struggles with his place in the Emperor's life creating a private battle for recognition and approval. This father-son conflict is expected to reveal a more vulnerable side of Javico, contrasting his outward display of strength as a ruler. Strong's role as Emperor Carino weaves together themes of power, legacy, and family, adding layers of intrigue to this prequel era of Dune where alliances and betrayals shape the future of the galaxy. And I'm really excited to see how this prequel series plays into Denis Villeneuve's Dune films. Obviously the books are the books and the films are the films, but it's being said that these films were restructured to fit into those movies, to feel like one cohesive story. So while it's 10,000 years prior to the movies, I'm really excited to see how they blend together. I thought those films were both masterpieces. I'm, I, I know Dune 2 is like everyone's very high on it. I personally, I think Dune 1 is phenomenal. I mean, Dune 2 is great too, don't get me wrong. But Dune 1, I just thought was a phenomenal film. I just love the way it takes its time. And, and Denis Villeneuve is probably one of the top three, five directors working today, so there's no surprise there. But one thing about Dune Prophecy that I'm very excited about is that they're going to make it look and feel as though it belongs in the same universe, because I guess it kind of does, as Denis Villeneuve's Dune film. So that's very exciting to me, because they're not going to go out and make it look like something different, make it its own thing. They understand and respect that Denis Villeneuve's fi uh, two films are very popular, first of all, and on top of that, they're very successful and they look phenomenal. They're beautifully shot. Greg Fraser, the cinematographer of that film, also did The Batman. It's, it's such a beautiful looking movie. Both of them are very beautiful. The aesthetic is pleasing. You really understand and appreciate the appreciation that Villanova and company has with the Dune books, saga, and story, and you get that in these movies, and they take their time, right? They are long movies, of course, and they take their time telling the story, telling it properly, fleshing it out, and letting you know what the world is. And I love that Doom Prophecy appears to be heading down that path, doing the exact same type of thing that the Dune movies were doing, obviously in that universe, like I said, and of course, this trailer just looks wonderful. We've never seen a force like this. Dune Prophecy is going to be coming out on November 17th. It promises to expand the Dune universe with the exploration of the Bene Gesserit's origins. Dune Prophecy invites excitement as it plunges us 10,000 years before Paul Atreides' story, exploring the formative years of the Bene Gesserit by diving into the aftermath of the Butlerian Jihad, an era where humanity rebounded from AI dominance. The show lays out how society came to reject advanced technology. The ancient period reveals why power struggles family legacies, and manipulation became central to the Dune universe, creating a rich prequel that promises intrigue, action, and a deeper understanding of what shaped Paul Atreides' world. Based in part on the Sisterhood of Dune by Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson, this show delves into the complex political and philosophical roots of the Bene Gesserit, a powerful order of women known for their influence over human affairs through genetics, mysticism, and political maneuvering. The story centers on Valia, a Tula Harkonnen, ancestors of the infamous Baron Harkonnen, as they transform the sisterhood of Rosak into the Bene Gesserit, aiming to elevate their family's legacy and ultimately produce the Kwisatz Haderach, a prophesied figure of immense power. 
One of the most exciting elements is the show's exploration of the Butlerian Jihad's aftermath. This context provides a new lens through which to understand the Dune universe's reliance on specialized abilities and, to, and the significance of the spice melange. Additionally, the trailer hints at political intrigue on a galactic scale, with the Carino Emperor navigating threats from within the Landsrad, a league of noble houses. The presence of characters like Swordmaster Kieran Atreides and Michaela, a Freeman character unfamiliar with the Arrakis heritage, enriches the cast with perspectives that are both personal and connected to larger power dynamics. With its intricate plot, deep lore, and the focus on Bene Gesserit's foundation, Dune Prophecy is shaping up to be a thrilling and insightful prequel that expands on the themes of Denis Villeneuve's films. We can expect a mix of palace intrigue, religious undertones, and, and philosophical questions about humanity's dependency on technology, all set against the visual landscapes of the Dune universe. November 17th, I can't wait for it. I'll be covering it each week on this show with reviews after every episode and hopefully some speculation videos as well going forward. I love the idea. I, look, prequels are a touchy subject, right? Because some of them work, some of them don't. Probably most don't work in a lot of people's opinions. I love the Star Wars prequels. I thought Fantastic Beast was kind of fun, but it was nowhere near the quality of Harry Potter, of course. Dune, however, I think they can do a lot with this, again, because you lead to this idea of this character of the prophecy of where we're going thousands of years in the future. You give yourself a 10,000 year gap to get there? That's a lot of time to play in. A lot of fun can be had in there. And I'm really excited to see what they come up with. If I lose control of Arrakis, the great houses would feed me to the worm. Unfortunately, Villeneuve will not be directing the pilot as he was supposed to. He's gone. He's not really even involved in the project anymore. You know that HBO is hoping that this is going to hit much like their House of the Dragon and Game of Thrones franchise. You know, this is this is probably what they're sh hoping to build up to be the next big franchise. It's sci-fi. It's kind of Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones meets Star Wars. You can't really lose with those two. I know Star Wars, a lot of people feel is not in a great place right now, but you can't really lose with Star Wars. And Game of Thrones, those are two massive franchises combining them into one. I think that's exactly what HBO is banking on right now. I'm really curious what the score, what the soundtrack is going to feel like in the show. Are they going to take hints of the Hans Zimmer score from the films? Because I love that score. Obviously, it won him an Oscar. He's not eligible to win an Oscar for the second movie, but I thought the first movie, the score is just so good. I mean, it's really good in the second one. I'm not undermining that at all, but he won an Oscar for the first one. He can in the second one. So, But the score for Dune is phenomenal. I don't know what it's going to sound like in this show. Obviously, we get a glimpse of maybe it in the trailer, maybe not. I'm really curious how that is because I feel like the score in Dune is kind of a character of its own right, right? Like it feels like its own character. I'm really excited and, and curious to hear how that's going to play out in Dune Prophecy. We're going to find out just 12 days from now, 10 days from now, whatever it is, we're going to find out how that's going to be in Dune 2, what the music's going to be like and the characters. And I can't wait to see and learn more. This trailer, I just thought this trailer looked great. It got me very much excited for it. I'm excited for it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Doom Prophecy, you looking forward to it? Like I said, we're going to be doing reviews and speculation videos throughout the run of this series, and I can't wait for it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Give us a like and a subscribe. Until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.